Hello and welcome to part four of um, A-level physics ISA help. This part is about combining uncertainties together. Now if you have been following the last episode in part three when we worked out percentage uncertainties you will know how to calculate percentage uncertainty so I'm not going to remind you of that just now but let's assume that we've got a formula for calculating resistance R equals V over I and you know the percentage uncertainty in V and you know the percentage uncertainty in I. You can then calculate the percentage uncertainty in R by adding the percentage uncertainty in V to the percentage in I. Now that proves to be a universal rule for whenever there is a divide in your formula or in fact at times in your formula. So for example to rearrange the formula V equals IR the percentage in V would be equal to the percentage uncertainty in I plus the percentage uncertainty in R. Whenever you've got a divide or a times then you must add percentage uncertainties together. Now that is for when you've got a times or a divide equation to use. It gets a bit more tricky when you don't, when you have equations that involve pluses and minuses. Not much, but a little bit. So let's imagine now that we've got a different equation. And this is um, an equation involving three variables again, but this one is y equals a plus b. Now if you want to know the percentage uncertainty in y, instead of adding the percentage in a and b it gets a bit more difficult. What you have to do is you have to add together the absolute uncertainties. Okay, and what do we mean by an absolute uncertainty? Well an absolute uncertainty is what you would get if a was a measure of distance for example or length and um, we knew that the measurement of a was 0 0.90 meters and we measured that with a ruler that was capable of measuring to the nearest um, centimeter. So that would be 0 0.90 plus or minus 0 0.01 meters measured to the nearest centimeter. So the 0 0.01 is the absolute uncertainty. Now if we know that b on the other hand is also a length that this one is able to be measured to the nearest millimeter so let's say that is a measure of 1.200 meters the extra digit representing the increase in precision then the uncertainty the absolute uncertainty in that measurement would be 1.200 plus or minus 0 0.001 meters therefore it's not the percentage this time the uncertainty the total absolute uncertainty in y you would get by adding those two things together it would equal 0 0.01 plus 0 0.001 to give 0 0.011 meters and the way that you would express that is you would say well taking these values here we've got 0 0.9 plus 1.200 which is going to give us um, 2.1 so if you just say y equals 2.1 plus or minus 0 0.011 meters and that would be the total uncertainty. If you did want to make it a percentage then what you would have to do is do the normal calculation for percentage to convert the absolute to sorry 0 0.011 divided by 2.1 times by 100 which would give us a final answer of the percentage uncertainty of I wait for the calculator for just a second it gives us 0.5%. Note that when we're quoting the percentage uncertainty again, we're working to one decimal place. Hope that's clear. Thank you very much for watching. Look out for the next episode.